Do you have any suggestions for, <coughs> for fencing or buffering the residential area? I know we've had people that uh, have commented on that. For RVs, what would be also well, to give them sort of a buffer between the residential areas? Also? <coughs> it's really best when you have a, a residential areas as close as you are. Uh, I highly recommend using an eight foot board fence. Uh, it's just, you know, the best result is taking something like a Leland Cypress and let it become a natural buffer. Uh, but in the short run, uh, you're, you're, if you have issues, uh, you're interjecting, particularly on the west side, uh, new neighbors uh, to people who have not had, I mean, they've had a nice big uh, uh, one house estate next to them and now they're going to have uh, several uh, new neighbors. So. Uh, in that transition, I would recommend going ahead and putting up uh, a 8-foot board fence and then uh, get your uh, screen planning, your green screen up, uh, and let that take over after a while. What would be on the front? In the front of the project? Yeah. You, you have the I, I would, uh, uh, it, it, you really need to go ahead and uh, I put a chain link fence, just something to keep the traffic from flowing in. And again, uh, begin your green screen early on. Uh, the, you know, five years will be here before you know it, and, and you can have a really nice uh, sheltered park uh, as you come through. But you do need, now, one of the things that, that we did do uh, is assuming that it would be fenced for security purpose. We breached that and, and put a, a parking area uh, between the pavilion and the, and the road uh, to provide parking for the big rock park. Uh, and, and that way uh, you, would, you would be able to uh, have them there. They wouldn't be disruptive to the park, but it would provide some necessary uh, parking for that use there, but it would be surrounded by a fence.